Hello everyone, Bentley K here. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is a hot flash and wrinkles video. And we are going to be testing out the new IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Foundation. Now I tried the Confidence in a Cushion. The one that was a cushion one, I didn't like it at all. But this one is supposed to be completely different. They assured me at Ulta it's not the same thing. So we're gonna give it a shot. I got the color Light Sand. And this is what it says on the IT Cosmetics website. It says, Confidence in a Foundation is your long wear foundation infused with hydrating ceramides. With a velvet matte finish, this oil-free, humidity-proof, full coverage foundation flawlessly covers the look of blemishes, dark spots, and other imperfections. Yay, I have all of those right now. Plus, it's invisible. Uh, it's available in 48 true to skin shades. Experience all day confidence every time you wear it. The coverage is full, the finish is matte. Skin types that it's basically for is normal, dry combination, and oily. So that's pretty much all of them. Um, it does contain a marine derived ingredient. If you have sensitivity to fish derived ingredients, please review the ingredient section. The key benefits, let's see what those are. It says, it's oil free, humidity proof, velvet matte finish foundation delivers all day full coverage, hydration and confidence. <clears throat> Feels weightless on the skin, covers the look of blemishes, redness, dark spots and other imperfections without creasing or cracking. Infused with ceramides, peptides, hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid and squalane. Pairs perfectly with your Heavenly Skin Hugging Foundation brush. I don't have one of those, so we're not using that. So, let's get into it. I saw Casey Holmes try it, and she said that she had read, which I didn't do. I just took her word for it. A lot of people that didn't like it and said that it sat on the skin and it didn't, you know, sit well. And I don't remember what else she said, but... They didn't like it, but when she tried it, she liked it just fine. She said, it's just, it works for me. So, we're just going to go in with a no opinion. She has oily skin, though, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference because I didn't, I didn't go in and read all the um, reviews on it because I already had it. So, I figured we'll make our own review. I already got cat scratches. I was trying to cut her nails this morning because she kept getting stuck on me and on the chair. And every way she'd walk, her fingernails would, her claws would get stuck. Anyways, you don't want to talk about cats. You want to talk about makeup, right? Okay, so I'm just going to put a couple of pumps on the back of my hand. They tested this. They color matched me to this there. So, and then I think I'm just going to go in and, oh, <laughs> I should take the glasses off, huh? Put it on. I am, oh, I have already put on a primer and I did not put my new Tarte primer that I was so in love with. Because look, I'm breaking out and I don't know what is breaking me out. So I'm gonna not use it for a little while and see if that's, I hope it's not. Because I really, really like that. It gives you me just enough glow. I know that Casey, when she tried it, she tried it brush on one side and sponge on the other, and she said that you actually get more coverage with the sponge. So maybe we'll do that, because I have a sponge. I usually put it on with a brush and then go back with a sponge. But it's pretty thick, so I'm thinking that if I... Uh, use a sponge, it might um, soak up all the product. I can see what they're saying. It feels like it's, you know, greasy because it's so thick. So I'm thinking that's maybe why they're saying it was sitting on top. But we'll see. It's got good coverage. 
I don't know if I want to do this, but I guess I will. Dog hair. I just like to go in with a brush because it's faster. I do like the, it seems smoother on this side. It does look a little cakey on my forehead. But that's okay because it's not set yet. So I'll just keep working it till we get where we want to be. Doesn't really seem like it's settling into lines. It does seem like it's kind of settling right there a little bit. But it's only on the brush side. The other side doesn't seem like it is. Maybe I just got too much on the brush side. I'm gonna stop. Okay, oh, and I used, because I'm worried about that, I didn't use, I used my Strabectin primer. This shirt, I don't know why it keeps pulling back, but it drives me crazy. But it's a pretty color. Anyway. Onward. Okay, let's go in with our concealer. I'm gonna use the Jouer. It's on the top. I hope it plays well with this. That's enough. Because this is, whenever they start to look cakey, the foundations, that's when I usually have trouble with my concealer. Looks good from here, huh? As long as I don't get in that close-up mirror. That's when I can see all the problems. Oh, it doesn't look bad. I can't say it's going to be my favorite. But so far, I've definitely had worse. You just want to keep working it, your foundation and your concealer, until it completely settles so that it's out of the wrinkles. Okay. Now let's go in with our Brighten Up Powder from Essence. Now I'm just going to go in with my powder brush and use that to spread that around to the rest of my face. Alright, I'm going to go off camera, finish my makeup, and I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. i got my makeup all on now. Um, as far as this foundation goes, I'm not really loving it. It's not really sinking into lines. Well, I can't really tell. I thought it was kind of cakey, but now it doesn't look that bad. So we'll just wait till the end of the day to see. 
I, I know it won't be my favorite, but I don't think it's as bad as I thought. It is kind of gathering around my nose. I don't like that. But we'll wait till the end of the day and see how it wears after a few hot flashes. So I will be back at the end of the day. Okay guys, I am back. It is the final check-in of the day and I don't like it. It is not really sinking in. Well, it's sinking into this line, but that doesn't really count. It's sinking into these lines a little bit, but it has completely rubbed off my chin. And these red spots. It is caking around my nose, definitely gathering there. around the sides of my nose and then down here it looks like it's rubbed off and I don't know how it rubbed off because I haven't I don't have a cold or anything so and it's kind of separating up here too I don't know I'm not loving it so you might like it it's got a lot of things in it for uh the skin but it just it isn't sitting well on my skin so it's just not for me it may be for you because it's not super bad but there's just too many things like especially this cakiness around my nose I really don't like that and then the gathering and the wrinkles and the fact that it came off all the red spots you know it said it covered blemishes and um, dark spots I can see my dark spots and the blemishes down here definitely came through so I'm giving it a thumbs down for this one. Oh, you want to know what this one is? It is the Confidence in a Foundation from It Cosmetics. Is what we are giving my opinion about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.